today we're going to take a look at a couple of feathers. This is a primary feather, a flight feather from the wing, and you'll notice that there's a shaft there. It's not quite in the middle, is it? It's actually much more off towards one side, and that is actually the leading edge of the feather. And this is designed for flight. It needs to be aerodynamic, and just like the, the wing on an airplane, it is gonna be thicker at the front, and then it trails off and becomes thinner toward the back edge. That shaft through the middle is called a rachis. Now you can think of the rachis as the trunk of a tree. And there are branches coming off the rachis, like there are big branches coming off a tree, and these are called barbs. You can even see them without a microscope. If you drew a feather, you'd probably draw the rachis and then the barbs. Branching off the branches are more branches. So again, you have the rachis, which is like the trunk of the tree, the barbs, which are like the big branches, and then the twigs coming off the barbs, these are called barbules, and they kind of connect with each other. Okay, they look kind of like a tweed pattern on a coat, don't they? Branching off the barbules are, guess what? More branches. If we go to the highest power, I can look at this on my microscope, you'll see these little hooklets or what are called barbicels, and they help the barbules, the twigs, stay connected. They kind of connect like the two sides of Velcro. And this makes the feather more of a single unit so that it can push against the air better. Now, if we look at a down feather under a microscope, what you'll notice is that there's a rachis, and there are barbs, and there are barbules, but they don't really connect. They stay loose and unconnected, kind of like a tangled bush. Now, this kind of arrangement is really good for holding pocket of air and holds it close to the bird's body. Birds are warm-blooded. When the heat comes out of their body, these down feathers help hold it there close to the bird. There are contour feathers on the outside that kind of make a sandwich between the bird's skin, the down feathers, and then the contour feathers on the outside. So hopefully you enjoyed checking out a feather under the microscopes. If you've got more things you want to see under a microscope, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. And I will keep exploring the world outside my home and bringing in things to show you the amazing world of the microscopic. Thanks a bunch for watching and stay tuned.